Hi everyone, it's Anya here. I'm back with another video for Ophelia Talks and today I am here in my sofa and I am crocheting and I just wanted to talk to you about a little crazy plan that I have. <laughs> now, today is the 20th of January, so by the time this comes out, some time will have lapsed, but that's the whole point, okay? And on the 4th of January, we know that the Sweet Pea Blanket Cal started. Um, and yeah, I'm doing the color wash and the posy. Uh, so I have been doing a lot of crocheting. And because I've had long stretches of just sitting and crocheting, not that I don't normally do that, but um, you know, I've been trying to keep up with the cowl as it comes out and because I'm doing both obviously you need double the time. I have been um, watching quite a lot of television, Netflix, BBC, iPlayer but also YouTube. So I watch um, you know crocheters on YouTube of course but I also watch other people on YouTube, just random people, um, just interesting things that I see that I think, oh, that might be interesting, not only because of um, what they're doing, but also how they film it, how they edit it, how they speak, and hopefully I can learn something from them from my own videos. Um, and so in my sort of, you know, long <laughs> YouTube sessions um, lately, I have found a wonderful lady. Uh, she's called Safia Nygaard and she does the most amazing things. Um, you know, things that you wouldn't think of to do. For instance, in one of her videos, she melted down all, uh, you know, sort of little bits of all her nude makeup, you know, all her nude lipsticks, and then she made it into one lipstick in the hope to find the the ultimate nude lipstick. So, you know, it was wonderful to watch that. Um, she's done so many other fun things. Um, she calls it bad science, you know, bad makeup science or something like that. So I am going to put a link to her channel below. She's got loads of subscribers. Um, and yeah, I'm really liking her. So I've been watching a lot of uh, her YouTube videos. Now, one of her sort of themes that she does is um, the internet's made me buy it. And that has put me onto an idea. Now, I've, I also sort of, you know, go through Facebook and all kinds of groups, and I see that people sometimes ask, what is this site Wish? Can we buy yarn from there? What's the quality, you know, etc. So going from that to Safia, she has ordered a whole clothing outlet, you know, outlay for like, a seven days I think from Wish and so she wanted to test um, you know the quality and how long it took to arrive and then indeed she spent the seven days wearing the Wish clothes and of course how much she paid for them. So I would want to do that kind of video. So I am going to order yarn from Wish. Now I am doing this so that if it all turns out to be a big disaster and I've wasted money, then you don't have to do it. Okay, so people are wondering, is it good quality? Does it work? How long do I have to wait? You know, um, yeah, let's, let's, let me order it and let me, let us, let me show you how I, you know, what happened um, and, and we'll see how it goes. So I, this is the, what I want to order. I've had a quick look, I have to admit, because obviously I'd never um, looked on Wish before, not even for clothing, nothing. Uh, so I downloaded the app and had a quick look. And I want to, I think I want to buy four separate things. So the first one 
I, so I want to get also, I want to get enough to actually be able to make something of it so that in the next video, when it arrives, I can actually get started on making the thing I want to make with it and show you how it went and even wear it. So I want to make a poncho, a really thin, warm poncho. I want to make a triangular scarf and I want to make an infinity scarf. So I need, for those three projects, I need wool, obviously. Um, I'm typing in yarn or acrylic yarn or something like that, so we'll see what comes up. I want to get a variegated one, I want to get a normal unicolor one, and then I want to get um, one of those skeins, you know, sort of the twisted things. Twisting. <laughs> um, and then, as the fourth thing, I want to get what looks like a really good deal you know, sort of something, a lot of wool for, for a little bit of money. Um, now we'll see how it, <laughs> how it goes. I'm going to, in a moment, I'm going to show you the screen uh, and we're going to order it together. I'm hoping to pay with PayPal because I've got some money in there at the moment. I am going to limit it though. I don't want to spend, you know, just endless. I'm going to limit it at maximum 50 pounds. Um, but thinking about it, um, hopefully with that £50, I'll be able to make a poncho, like I said, an, a, an infinity scarf and a triangular scarf. And then hopefully with that good deal, um, I'll be able to make something else. It's not that I don't have any yarn. Um, I'm just curious to see, you know, what the quality is going to be like, how long it's going to take to arrive, what I am going to be paying for it, and how easy it is, you know, to sort of to order it. Um, like I said, I had not done anything on Wish before, so I've had to um, install the app, then I had to register, which I did. So I am now ready to start buying um, and we'll see how it goes. So I'm hoping um, that in a way I can help you make up your mind, yes or no, we're going to order from Wish. Um, <laughs> it's going to be fun because I have seen quite a lot of people say, oh, I've ordered and it still hasn't arrived. Um, so we'll see how long it takes. Uh, Safia, you know, the, the girl I've sort of discovered on Face to, um, on YouTube, she, um, she sometimes had to wait months for her clothing to arrive. Um, obviously, I don't know, you know, we're in a, a different segment of Wish, obviously. I am uh, also hoping to find out what the quality is like. Um, you know, there are some brands there that I've never heard of or maybe don't even have a brand. So we'll see um, where that takes us. But I have spotted a few nice things, so we'll get ordering. So here we are, we're on the Wish app. And I have to say, um, yeah, I'd seen these ones here. So that's what I wanted to order. Um, they have a really long description of what the yarn is like, what it can be used for, all in the title of the yarn. Um, so now I want to find out which color I would like and also how to order it because I can't straight away see any numbers. There's always quite a lot of pictures with it and also here they've given you examples of what they've made with it which is of course really nice. Ah, Here's a picture with a number and this is what I want to order but obviously I, there's no number on here so I'm gonna have to look. Ah, maybe it's six but didn't it just say six on the other picture? Oh my word that this is confusing. Right so we'll have to go back to the pictures to see, yes, yeah, so this is number six with the green, but here it says number five with the green and number six with the purple. So, mm, okay, <laughs> we'll have to take a risk and we'll just order number six. They're both nice. So I'm hoping that it will be right. 
So let's see if we can order this. Um, I'm just going to order one for now. Oh, look at that. So shipping is one pound. Um, so I'm imagining that if you add to the quantity, yeah, it's going to add the shipping as well. So the shipping is per ball. So that adds amazingly much and that adds a lot to the price. So you've got to keep that in mind. Right, let's get on with looking for some other things that I was talking about. A skein maybe here, something like this. Again, how am I going to find out which <laughs> colours they are? Again, the long description. Um, shipping £1, again, so that means per skein. And then also there are reviews, so it's always good to read these. And here they are more than uh, good, the reviews, five stars, and it came early, was good. So that's always good. And then at the bottom here, they give you some uh, suggestions of things you might like. So back to the skein. Let's see if we can find... Oh, okay. And <laughs> in the pictures, it will then tell you which skeins uh, that go together and here there's like a really nice color combination but obviously how am I going to find it in the numbers which one is it going to be oh I can't make up my mind let's go and look for something else <laughs> see that's what I'm like it needs to be easy to order as well you know we've got crocheting to do <laughs> okay so there's the same thing again. Oh, is it the same price? So there's two pounds here and they, oh yeah, they're two pounds as well. So that's okay. Yeah, so maybe you have to shop around within Wish as well. Anyway, let's have another look at a few things here. They all look so nice and soft. Let's have a look at this. So if I bought the box, I could use all of them together in one project. That could be my special project. Maybe this is a good deal. I don't know. I don't know whether I'm going to go for that. So this is £4 shipping. So I'm suppose, suppose that's just the £4 for the whole lot. Okay. Ah, oh, This is what it looks like out of the box. So yes, as you can see, I can't <laughs> read what it says there. Um, so it comes with a little gift, it seems. Yeah, okay, I'm not sure about this. Let's go to something else. This is what I want. I want a small sort of um, cake, almost, like a roll. And let's see if we can order this. Yeah, good reviews here. Let's see if we can choose a colour. Oh, that's quite easy. So 18, oh, here I can't see, but yeah, this... 18 I think I want because that's sort of like rainbow this seems to be the one yeah showing you what you can do with it cushions scarves obviously there's not that much on a ball it seems but it's okay we'll order 18 let's see how it goes um and so I tried this uh, with other things as well. And sometimes the colour that you want isn't in the list. So that makes it more difficult. Like with this one. Um, I really wanted a nice purple one. But I couldn't order that. Because I couldn't find the number on the list. Here we have some skeins again. But again I couldn't make up my mind about the colour. Here I love this combination. But somehow I just couldn't figure out which was which here. So I couldn't really order uh, the number or was the number missing something like that so yeah a lot of patience is needed when you are ordering from wish look here we've got some skeins with some sparkles in it and also they have whip bags look at this so you can order that from wish as well um, also what kept coming up in my feed was a yarn winder here you see it so I don't know how well that works, but yes, there we go. And then also um, here we are down below a bit further on. Let's have a look. There's a yarn bowl as well. So yeah, I'd spent about an hour ordering all this stuff. So I now go to my basket and I adjusted all the amounts. Um, and of course that then made that my 
shipping had gone up to £20. So I was probably ordering 20 items because I added quite a few balls for making a, a bigger project. So yeah, £20 for shipping, I think that's quite a lot. And I was not happy about that because obviously that adds to the price of your yarn. But anyway, it was a pre it was a you know an experiment, so I just went for it. There we go, twenty pounds. So in total, I spent about sixty pounds. <laughs> right. So I tried to condense my adventure or wish for you. Uh <laughs> <laughs> my goodness me it took an hour for me to order those four things and I'm now so confused I don't know even if I got the four things um, I am glad to be crocheting again I went from like 14 pounds to then uh, having to pay 78 or something uh, then I reduced it back to 59 um, and then when I paid somehow it I paid 60 pounds so yeah very confusing uh difficult to choose the colors because you can't enlarge oh, i always like to enlarge a picture and see the colors next to each other so that's why i always have the yarn pegs um so fingers crossed i'm going to be able to make something with this there was lots of different things that i wanted like bamboo cotton i really wanted to try that um didn't really find a skein you know a twisty one but overall, yeah, it took an hour for me to um, order that those things. All of them had about a month's delivery time. So that will take a while for it to arrive. Hopefully at the end of this video, I can put in a minute, <laughs> I can put, um, you know, something that has arrived. Um, hopefully the colors will go together. Ah, oh, we'll see, we'll just see. <laughs> I tried lots of things um, when I ended the screen uh, filming obviously I had to put in my address and I paid uh, via PayPal so hopefully that all went through I've had a mail saying that I paid so hopefully um, you know all that is sorted and all we have to do now is wait for it to arrive and then we'll see what happens right everyone so we have two packages that have arrived um, I'm really surprised um, this arrived on the 30th this arrived on the 30th as well um, why did I write 20th <laughs> um, I ordered them on the 20th so 10 days is pretty good but they all came from the UK so I'm really surprised about that. I thought it was going to be coming from China or something like that. Uh, anyway, I wanted to open it uh, with you. So I haven't opened uh, this yet. Now I have to say, um, yeah, I'm hoping that this is going to be worth the money I bought. I paid for it. You know what I mean? Because it, the packages look very small. So there we go. Let's see what's in here. This is the one that arrived first. Oh yes, the rainbow one. Hmm, okay. There doesn't seem to be much on there. Rather small ones. Uh, it says cotton. It does have, ch oh look, there's a <laughs> key ring, a gift. Goodness me, your satisfaction with our service will be deeply appreciated best wishes oh fancy keyring um yeah they are sort of it is chinese writing on there as you can tell um yeah maybe this is not enough for a cow <laughs> but i will come up with something to make with this um how many meters is this 193 meters yeah okay we'll think about something right so that's a small package with a free key ring and then here we have the bigger pack remember I ordered that pink and green one no 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 not the pink and green one the purpley one to make a poncho out of it so hopefully this will be enough 
uh, for a poncho or otherwise it'll have to be like a bolero type thing or a short poncho <laughs> okay so this is that all individually wrapped fabulous but um okay i wasn't expecting the pink in there to be honest rainbow best quality I mean, yes, okay, they're all individually wrapped, so they're not going to get dirty or anything. They all seem the same colour, but this colour I don't think was in the one that I selected. Um, I'm going to put a picture up of the one that I selected. Okay, so let me take it. Oh my, oh. It's not nice to touch. Rainbow, best quality. Carefully selected and quality material process. Elaborate processing. Bring you and your family. Okay, that's what it says in the small print there. First grade, Australian wool, imported nylon, the official reunification, 10%. Standard weight, 50 grams. Okay, item, colour, so colour 5506. 55, I think, looking at them, I think they're all stamped with the same... So, I mean, I mean, to be honest, yeah, that's good. But, um, it says super bulky. I don't think this is super bulky. This is, you know, full ply. So, two to four. A hook two to four. Shanghai. Tech Bayerin, Bayerinini Textile Company. Yeah, all very interesting, but, mm, I'm not sure about the quality. Okay, so yeah, I'll have to come up with um, something to make for this. I've got 10 of them. Um, so I wanted to get a good amount so that I would be sure. Hang on a minute. There's no, there's no grey in here and there's grey in here. Mm. This, they are the same. But there seems to be discrepancies in it. Never mind. Um, yeah, maybe I'll turn it into a lightish poncho or something like that. If you make it into something that you don't wear on your skin, then, then you know the itchiness is not a problem. So I do like the colour. I like the pink. I like the purple. But I'm not too sure. And I like the grey. But I'm not too sure about this colour here, which I didn't see you know, when I was buying it. So this is what I thought I was getting. So quite a different thing than what arrived. Yes, so as you can see, this is not what I ordered. Uh, my my ball is packaged the other way, you know, so the, the band is rounded in that way. The colours are completely different and um, there will there you know you could see the color changes this color was definitely not in there um so i have um complained to wish about this uh, i have got 10 balls of this i was going to make something for myself so really you know it needs to be right um yes it arrived quickly it's funny that it's a chinese thing that still came from england but we will see when they reply Wow, I got a reply back from them within a minute of me posting a sort of um, a automated um, complaint form. And guess what? They've refunded me the money. Well, they are going to refund me the money within two weeks. So hopefully I'll be able to report back on you that this money has been refunded and I can keep them. I can keep this. And then it says, I'll put a picture of it um, in the video. It says also that I'm, you know, that, that I'm free to reorder that particular item that I wanted from a different store. So I wouldn't, um, 
you know, have the same issue. I mean, that's good. I'm, I'm pleased about that. I mean, yes, I will, um, obviously, I will keep you posted on, A, the refund. I will also keep you posted on what I'm going to make with them. I have also just noticed that in the uh, Wish app, there is like a order history that you can go into and you can see what has been ordered, what is going to be arriving. And it's all updated on there. It even has this as order in a um, delivered on the 30th of January. Um, so yeah, really efficient. I am very pleased about that. Okay, so looking at these ones closer up, um, I have to say I, I don't I opened it off camera and I had to just replace it and film this because it was not very nice. So I opened this, took it out, and out came a long black hair, which isn't mine. So this was inside the pack with this, and I have to say I was <laughs> a little bit put off by that. So never mind, uh, <laughs> it's another thing we can ha we'll have to um, cross here. Um, so yeah, so that's that. I'm going to keep it like this and I'm just going to pull this in. Can you see it? Can you see the hair? There. Okay. <sighs> yeah, okay. <laughs> and then I wanted to film again because more things arrived so here i have the little scissors that arrived they arrived on the fourth of the second month so the fourth of february and this is uh what they're like i haven't tried cutting with them i really i really like them but this is the size of the one that i have so whether or not they had different sizes or you know i didn't see that uh but yeah so um there we go. But I have to say, let's see if they cut. I have to say, if they um, uh, uh, do cut, I think they're a really nice present. I think they were two pounds, and then with the postage, it made them three pounds. Perfect. So I think, you know, if you wanted to have a little gift or an added thing, um, I think that would be a good option. So today arrived this packet, that's why I wanted to film it today to see uh, you know, what was in it because I'm curious as well. Um, in here should be um, variegated, purple variegated yarn, uh, but again I think it's quite a small packet for what I was thinking of doing with it. Um, so yeah, I mean, hmm, we'll have to see where it's going to take us. But it did arrive um, quite early on in the delivery term that they gave me. So I, I guess that's good. Uh, but yeah, let's see what's in here. I'm making sure I'm not going to cut into any... Oh, yeah. So it's in there without any protection. I won't cut any more. Okay. This looks what I have ordered. Five balls. Did I order five balls? But, yeah, not much there. Not much there. Um, mm, and this is what it says. <laughs> uh, I can't really tell what it is anymore. So, yeah, um, like I said, I was interested to see if I could find some of that Chinese or Japanese yarn. Yes, I've got it now, but obviously there is something in it that's 80%, something that's 20%, something that's 15%. It's 50 grams probably. It doesn't say the meterage and it doesn't say hand wash. Um, it doesn't say what hook size to use, but obviously that's not a problem. We can, we can work that one out. So yeah, um, I'm much more pleased with this. Uh, I've got five balls of this, so yeah, 
let's see what I can make with that. So I will be back later on with videos of things that I've made with these. Um, but overall, yeah, I'm sort of, it's, I'm in between. I didn't like the other wool that I was sent that was wrong. They did give me my money back. And I have to admit, my husband um, said, you know, how much money have you spent on this? I said, well, about 60 pounds. He said, how many balls of Stylecraft Special Decay would you have been able to buy for that money? And I was like, oh my word, my heart hurt. I was like, I hadn't thought of that. Um, and I worked it out and I could have bought 32 balls. Now, 32 balls would make two single bedspreads. Um, that's my cat doing funny things next to me. So now I've got this. I've got this, this, and I've got this. And to be honest, I don't really know what to do with them. Um, I have some ideas, but the problem is, is it going to be enough? Um, am I going to be able to, you know, use it? and make something useful out of it. This is 60 pounds. I mean, okay, yes, I had those three scissors. That's 60 pounds. Is, is it worth getting this and not knowing pr pr properly what to do with it? Um, and also th this one is really not soft at all. This one is nice and soft. This one is nice and soft. I think that's sort of both cotton acrylic mixtures here. So, yeah, I don't know. I just, I, I have, yeah. Like my husband said, I should have just spent that money on special DK. You know, Starcraft special DK. And I would have been more than happy to make something with that. Um, cushions, b b blanket, whatever. But it's an experiment. I did it so you didn't ha don't have to. <laughs> Which I think, you know, that's fair enough. Um, I'll see what I do with it. You'll see these uh, videos pop up eventually. Um, and yeah, we'll see how it goes. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. You stuck with me to the end. <laughs> and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.